Hello everybody, if you're watching this, then we hope you've already seen our crossover music video. If you've not seen that yet, go back and watch it because everything that we're gonna talk about right here will not make any sense if you have not. Uh, but obviously the entire music video was filmed on location in Israel. Mm. It was supposed to be filmed around the Sea of Galilee exclusively, but then whenever we were over in Israel, we kind of got carried away and did now the whole it's, thing. It's all over the place, Every, everywhere yeah. in that country from top to bottom. So yeah. we got deserts and seas and all kinds of good stuff in here. Yep, and there's going to be all sorts of little facts we're gonna watch through the video again, and we're going to stop and pause often to explain what's on the screen. You will be surprised exactly how much is on the screen at any given time. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of it will have Bible references for, some of it just little facts and stuff. If you've been to Israel before, a lot of this will make sense, but we're gonna jump right in. Here is Crossover. Yeah, we're gonna stop right there. I was about to say, so, I was gonna say some of that. Yeah, so uh, some of this we'll come back to, um, but one thing we won't come back to because it's the only time that it appears. This is Nimrod's castle or Nimrod's fortress uh, in the Golan Heights. Now, don't let the name fool you. It's not Nimrod from the Bible. I'm not actually sure where it gets its name, uh, but it's kind of a crusader uh, slash. Um, Ottoman fortress, so it doesn't date uh, exceedingly old. I mean, you know, probably eight hundred years or so. I mean, yeah, eight eight hundred to a thousand years old, maybe maybe a little more than that. Which I know what you're thinking. That's probably ancient. Well, everything in Israel is ancient. Some of it goes back four thousand years. So you know, this comparatively not that old. But this is the one time that <laughs> Nimrod's fortress appears in the video, and you can see on the screen um, the 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 tallest point. Uh, as it goes up, maybe if you look down on this drone shot, you can see a few other little features of it. It's a really cool place. If you ever go to the Golan Heights, it's a lot of fun. How did you, how, wait, wait, wait. How, how did you yep. get? How did you get a drone shot of this? Did you have to get permission of that, or did we just fly it over? No, we just flew it over. Oh, okay, never mind. Mm, when Jesus says cross over to the other side. Promise that you'll make it Although the storms rage high You don't ever have to worry He is faithful every time When Jesus says cross over You'll make it to the other side All right, right here. Very location-based so far. If you didn't know, you've seen two different locations, but those two different locations are one location. This yep. is all around the same place. It's just in different... Within eh. within a few golf ball drives of each other, yeah. So it the, looks different. It looks different because right. you know, we're showing you the so beach yeah, the, of it. The, the black the, sand or rock that you're walking on, that's just next to our hotel, essentially. <laughs> Uh, it's called a kibbutz over in, um, this is in, the Nof Genesar thank you. Um, kibbutz. And right so, off Galilee. Yeah. Yep, and that's where you would get on if you were going to go to a boat, which we'll see a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's one of the locations. Then the wooded area that we're walking on, uh, we had a few days in Galilee where I was looking around because we're also trying to take a tour with the whole team at the same time we're shooting the music video, and we don't want to take up too much time during the day. So this is during the evenings near the hotel. And there was this little walking trail and I'm walking down like, wow, this is nice, but it's kind of hard to see this kind of tall grass and everything. But then it opened up into this. It was mm. calm, it was peaceful. You couldn't see a lot of modern stuff behind it. And we have water on one side, which is just a puddle. And then we have the sea on the other side. And yeah, and there was just enough room to where you could walk down the beach for one continuous shot. So yeah, I was really happy with how it looked. And we yeah. all kind of blend into the background with the browns. Now, yeah, it does look like lower Louisiana, but it is not. Yeah, it just, it just so happens that swamps look alike. Yeah, it's Galilee. But, yeah. Well, the sea was calm when Jesus said, let's cross to the other shore. But in the middle of the sea, there are... Okay, we're going to stop right there again. That is a very different sea. That is not the Sea of Galilee. That is uh, Caesarea on the Water or Caesarea Maritima. And... Um, there was a storm there that day. That This is all the way on the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, the first time we went to Israel in 2018, it was 
calm. It was beautiful. You could look out on the Mediterranean and it's very clear water. Second time around, not so much. The wind is just whipping. The water is going nuts. Um, you can see some of the ruins behind us, um, but we wanted to get the shot really quick and it works so well with uh, the storm on the sea uh, in the lyrics of the song. Uh, to use this particular setup. Yeah, yeah. Th and this was, we'll see more of this later, this was a right at the moment shoot. This was not right. planned. In fact, I think it was like within a couple minutes we did a little bit of a turnaround right. to try and get this in it. Looks great by the way, and you'll see some of that in a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. And we'll stop again. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna, we're gonna stop a whole lot of the beginning in the introductions of new places. This is the desert we were talking about. So yeah. this actually ended up being probably my favorite looking thing. This just looks thing. great. It, it worked great that you were wearing black on the day uh, with the bright desert sunshine. So like you just stand out so dramatically. Uh, the, the whole shot just looks awesome. Uh, it was not easy to get uh, as our cameraman, Daniel Knutson, is going backwards. I'm actually helping stabilize him um, because I'm looking on one side and as he's holding the camera backing up, and I'm looking, there's rocks. You can see on the ground, there's just rocks all over. This is not a, a path. This is just the desert. And so sometimes we'd go up over big rocks and around little rocks. And so as this is going, I'm calling out to him, all right, move left a little bit, move right a little bit, and just trying not to shake the camera around just too bad. Mm. But he did a really great job. This is Timna National Park uh, in the southern wilderness. This is even farther south than the Dead Sea. And um, this, uh, this area is locally called uh, Solomon's Mines. And you can read a little bit about, I don't think the actual mines uh, in the Bible, but that Solomon mined for copper. And uh, some of the raw materials, they still exist today. You could walk around and see the copper ore in veins uh, and just pick it up and handle it. And that was the raw materials that would be processed and then used in the temple uh, and, and in Jerusalem at large. In fact, I might actually have some. All right, so I have two materials right here. This first one, I'm gonna handle it carefully. It's very, it's, our, it's the largest one uh, that we have. We got a bunch of little pebbles and stuff. It's green in mm -hmm. color. And this is copper ore from Timnah, from Solomon's Mines. Uh, and so things like this, some of them are huge bricks uh, like this, but it's green because it's oxidized. And then they would, right on site, put in large uh, kiln, might not be the correct word, but smelters. And this is what would come up off of it. This is slag. This is 3,000 year old slag. And it is uh, kind of bubbly and stuff like that because at one time it was basically liquid. Uh, and this is the impurities that would come up off of the copper as it was being processed. Uh, this was from a one of the old exposed fires that they had out there. Uh, but this is cool. This is this is ancient, ancient debris used over from processing copper ore. So yeah, really, really cool. A little older than Nimrod's castle there. Just so that's what we bit. mean. Yeah. Love the reflections on either side. It was raining this day, by the way. Um, yeah. We didn't know if we were going to get this shot. This is the only path out to the boats and this right. pretty much in the whole place. So anyone who wants to walk by you to get to the boats or walk past just does so. And a lot of times they did so. Ruin yeah. the take a little bit. So, and then it starts raining on top of that. So we're not sure if we're able to get this. I think you may, if you look close, you may see some rain uh, coming down. You might on a few takes, there was rain. There was actually one whole take that there was rain on us and we had an umbrella over the camera and it just, because the rain just would roll through, then it would stop. Um, and it was like, this is going to be great. We have an entire take of it raining on us. Uh, it just looks great. It wasn't terrible rain. It was just, you know, nice, you know, effect. You could see it. Um, and then we got back and realized we had been filming in slow motion. So 
none of it was usable. It was all very, like, very, very slow. We couldn't really use it. Actually, there's one moment where I might have been able to use some of that footage in the edit a little later. Uh, but yeah, the whole chorus was ruined. But I love this shot because we have a boat on one side. There's actually a boat on the other side going that way. It may have been right at the beginning. Uh, and those are just passengers. They're out on the Sea of Galilee uh, having a good old time where we are a little bit later in this video. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, just, I love how this shot came out. You can't plan that kind of stuff. We walked down the pier over and over and over again, uh, but only on this one where there are two boats sailing on opposite sides as we were going down. It was so cool. And Jesus says cross over, you'll make it to the other side. All right, we're going to have to there stop here. So yes, this was spur of the moment because this is Caesarea Maritima again. You can look at the water. The water is going crazy. And we thought it would be so good because he's saying, my life was going under as I fought the stormy seas. And so you can't pass up the opportunity. Uh, so as we're walking, this was not a shoot day. This was just a touring day. But we look out at the water, we're like, this is just too good to pass up. And so uh, we whipped out our phones and did this. We didn't even have the nice camera for this one. Yeah. Uh, so that's how we did that. But there's something significant about what is behind Zach. I think that is this, or maybe it's a little bit to your left. This platform, I'm almost certain this is what it is. Uh, that it's, you notice it's flat. So there's rocks on one side and it's flat right behind him. Uh, that seems a little unnatural uh, for the bank of a sea. Uh, and it's because it is. This is actually a palace. Uh, that's the floor. And if the, uh, if the light was a little bit different in the shot, you might even see the mosaic pattern underneath uh, because it was a very nice courtyard. And it's since been kind of reclaimed by the sea uh, because the history of Caesarea Maritima, they had a breakwater that would keep the water from coming up and coming into the sea. Well, over time, that was destroyed. It fell down. And so now water has come and kind of reclaimed a lot of the city. But this was originally Herod's palace. And even at a certain time in history, Pontius Pilate stayed there. They found his name on a rock. It's one of, I think, only two in history that they found inscribed Pontius Pilate's name on something. Uh, the other was a, uh, a signet ring, I believe. Uh, but that means he stayed there as the governor of Judea. Uh, he came and stayed in this palace. And this is right around the time that Paul was a prisoner, so it's likely that this palace floor right behind Zach was one of the places that Paul could have appealed to Caesar, and that continued his journey on towards Rome. So a lot of really significant things uh, likely happened right behind where Paul was, it could, uh, where, where Zach was. Wait, and where Paul was. I yeah. didn't even know that. Like, yeah, so anyway. all right, right there could have been where Paul and um, Herod had their conversations, Agrippa, right there, um, and also... Could have been a place where Pontius Pilate overlooked. And on to the left of him was a place where uh, Agrippa likely was uh, struck down by God. I did not know that. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, we just said, stand there and sing the song. Yeah. So, yeah, look at that. Look at all that was right there while I was standing there with the waves in the background. But goodness. Yeah. So, that's cool. Let's keep going. As I fall, the storm is Real quick on a, the probably the last location change we make here. Where are we exactly? I can't remember where we are here. This is the Golan Heights. Thank you. Um, but this is farther away from Nimrod's fortress. Uh, uh, it was probably the same day. But uh, this is at a place. Um, this is in the Tel Dan Nature Preserve, and so that it's so green, so beautiful. People think of uh, Israel. They think of the deserts and stuff, and there are quite a few deserts there. But there's also these northern areas uh, that are just so beautiful to look at. Um, and what's behind, some of that may even be Syria, depending on which way the camera is pointing at this particular time. Uh, but it could just be more, more of uh, the Golan Heights in Israel. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we were walking down this nature preserve trail. The team went on ahead and we kind of went off the reservation. This doesn't actually, this isn't for the public. We just walked down it and hope we wouldn't get in trouble. It's kind of like a service road, uh, but I mean, what a what a service road! Yeah. You got the mountains behind us and uh, everything was blooming. So it was such a cool difference between this and the uh, the location in Timna 
uh, from desert to just this beautiful, beautiful looking place. Yeah. And yeah, this and, is, yeah uh, uh, no, another thing you need to understand on a lot of these, since we're coordinating with a tour that's going right next to us, most of these walking shots are one take wonders, basically. Yeah. Not just be not just that we did them so well, we did them in one take, like we could not, we didn't have any more time. No. This one's a good example. When we start walking, that's it, basically. Same with the one in the desert. Uh, and there's more on it. I mean, as they're walking backwards, because the camera, you know, is walking backwards as we're yeah. walking forwards, you got to be able to hear the track occasionally. Yeah. In fact, he, all the time. You're a long yeah. way from the camera yeah. in this shot. So, like, we have a phone playing the music. We didn't mm -hmm. have professional speakers or anything. This is. So, yeah, it's not just a matter of when we get a certain distance away, we got to stay the same distance walking. They can't get too far away from me or I can't hear the music. I can't get too far away from them or else I'm out of the camera frame. So not only all that, we're doing it all in one take, but we have to coordinate so carefully that we are all walking and staying in the exact same proximity as far as we go. So yeah, all of it coming out the way that it did is actually nothing short of a miracle yeah. to some degree. Side note, anything behind us, that's Jordan uh, and mm -hmm. the sea. Both shots. So this shot right here, the mountains to the other side, that's that's Jordan um, mm -hmm. because it's on the other side of Galilee. And then, um, yeah, not the Jordan River, Jordan the country. And then the other one uh, where we're walking towards the camera on the path, uh, any mountains in the background, that is Jordan as well. Yes, and for all of you biblical buffs and history buffs, anything over on this side you're looking at, it's probably where the Decapolis was. So the 10 cities of the Decapolis right this direction yeah. some degree when jesus says cross over when jesus says yeah, i'm going to back that up real quick i'm almost certain i need to look this up okay so obviously there's a boat this this was not planned either but we'll talk about that in a second this large cliff um that is in the shot kind of silhouetted I think that is the same cliff, depending on uh, where we are. I, I believe that is over Magdala. When Jesus says cross over, you'll make it to the other place. When Jesus says cross over, you'll make it to the other place. He will calm the rage and see. You'll make it to the other place. He will take you by the hand. He will give you what you need. Should we say something about being on on the sea? It, yeah, um, that was the sea. This is the Sea of Galilee, so we are on the sea. You know, mm -hmm. we're crossing over it, if you will. Uh, very, very pleasant when we got out there. Not so pleasant when we got back. Um, it literally turned in about a couple minutes into a very fierce and angry storm that yeah. uh, it took a long time to get redocked and actually yeah. get off the boat. Well, you can see behind us. I mean, there's. There's really dark clouds behind mm -hmm. us, and there, this was this was the next day after the main courses were filmed. W this was filmed on phones too, yeah, because we was, were going to yeah. bring the nice yeah, camera. Was. But again, it was it was raining like thirty minutes before we were going to get on. And it was raining pretty good, but we knew that if we didn't get on the boat with the whole team and have a good time, you know, we weren't getting on the sea. Mm -hmm. And so we said, okay, put the leave the camera in the room. Well, then we get out there and it clears up, and then we're on the boat. And we're like, man, this is this is too good to pass up. I mean, it looks great, it's so cool, but we have nothing to film it with. So again, we took out two phones this time. One one is Caleb, our brother, filming close mm -hmm. up, and then the other is Daniel, uh, our camera guy, and he's he's filming wide so that we could get this course. I think it turned out uh, really really yeah. well. So we didn't know if that would work. Um, we <laughs> said, how do we get the reprise? Because it's in the track. And then we came up with, well, what if we were you know, walking away from the camera and then heard music playing and then came back in for some more? And uh, I think it kind of worked. It worked. It's it worked, funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did that once. We, we, we had one take of that. And yep, that's how it came out. It was okay. There 
it is. There See it is. that? That's slow motion footage. So that was it. I mean, that is. Uh, that turned out, I think, better than we thought. We were really nervous to try to do a music video uh, on mm -hmm. a full-on trip. We didn't want to tell people, okay, you're going to have to wait while the Allens film. So we came up with a way to do it while the team could go on and do what they were doing, and then we would rejoin them. Um, but whenever you're trying to shoot a video like that, there's a fear of, is this going to come out looking like a professional music video? Uh, we didn't want to go all the way to Israel and not do it. Um, mm -hmm. And whenever we started doing it, we wanted to commit to it and make it look great. I think it's the best of both worlds. It's all over the place. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It covers hundreds of miles, basically, from you know down in Timna up to the Golan and Galilee on the way over in the Mediterranean. Um, we did want to get a little bit in Jerusalem, but we never we yeah. never got around to it. Uh, that would be cool. Maybe maybe in the future we'll do another video. Yeah, the, there. the weather was not on our side. In oh yeah, at all this time. <laughs> yeah, the weather was way worse there. So yeah, we wouldn't have been able to do anything. Uh, but yeah, I thought about trying Hezekiah's tunnel, but it's just a big dark tunnel, so you wouldn't have been able to see anything. It just would have been Zach looking at the camera. Um, we could have done that here, to be perfectly honest. Just turn the lights out. And yeah, we, we really Hezekiah's could. Tunnel. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we had such a great time. Uh, if you want to come with us on a trip to Israel, send us a message uh, here, wherever you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, for sure. We will get in touch with you. We plan trips every so often, and we'd love to have you on one of them. If you have not streamed Crossover, you can find it on Apple Music and on Spotify. Search The Allens. It's off of our new album, Kingdom Come. You can also go to theallensmusic.com. You can get it on CD. You can get it on USB. There's a lot of other stuff there as well for you to check out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's new stuff coming out all the time. And leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Did you like us reacting to it and giving a little bit of our uh, backstory to this whole experience? And would you like to see something like that in the future? Just let us know. Um, but you got anything else to add? Anything else that we missed? Yeah, but come along if you want to on a trip to Israel. Maybe you will be in a music video next time. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there was a lot of people on this trip and none of them made the video. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> what? The Seagull did, so I mean, yeah. he got top billing. We brought him all the way from Arkansas. Paid him 50 bucks. Yeah. Mm. Really pushy Seagull. Yeah. Gave him a donut too. Mm. Old Bill. We left him. Mm.